So in this session, uh, we will be discussing about the expected dates of NTA June 2019. So NTA released all the dates on 31st of January. 31st January ko sabhi dates ko release kar diya gaya tha. So in this session, we are only going to discuss about those dates when you will be expected to have your NTNET examination. So those who are online who are watching this video, please say hi in the chat window and please like the video and so that we can start our discussion. So jo jo are online, hai, please. So we can, I guess we can start our discussion. So if you go to this NTNET website, this is the official website. Let me zoom in a little so you will be able to see it more clearly now. So this is the official website from National Testing Agency, which is NTA Net. So recently NTA released a notification. You can see all these notifications regarding the schedule of examination. Go to this archive and you will see this notification. It was released on 31st of January. So this notification was 31st of January ko nikla tha regarding all the examination that NTA will be conducting in this given next six months. So I can just click on read on this notification and you'll find all these details. So this is released on th uh, 31st of January 2020. It is not 2019. So that is a mistake from there. So this is on 2020. They released this notification on 2020, not 2019. Okay. So here in this notification, they told what are the examinations that will be they will be conducting between December 2019 to June 2020. December 2019 se lekar, June 2020 ke se examinations honge. Okay. So the first examination is regarding this MBA examination as this is not our discussion that it is not our concern. So here you can uh, see this is the important notification for December examination which already happened. So this December examination was on 2nd to 6th of December. Now you can see this notification. This is the most important part as you can see here. Let me also highlight this. So as you can see here also, this is the most important part that they have uh, released these dates. So your registration date will be from 16th of March to 16th of April. Jo aapka jo registration hoga NTNET ka, wo 16th of March se lekar 16th of April tak rahega. So they have already discussed about all these things. They already told when we will be able to download your admit cards. You will be able to download your admit cards from 15th of May onwards. And the dates of examination will be 15th to 20th of June 2020. So your examination will happen between 15th of 20th of and 20th of June. Why there's a date range? Because uh, for different uh, branches and departments, the examination happens on a different day. For example, for arts, the examination will be on a different day. For commerce, the examination will be on a different day. And for computer science, the examination will be on a different day. So. 99% of the chances, I mean, all, all the chances are that your examination between will be between 15th to 20th of June. Aapka jo NTNET ka exam hoga, wo 15th se 20th June tak hoga. So those who have not started your preparation till now, please do start your preparation on time because that is very important uh, for you to give, uh, to start your preparation on time, right? So it takes at least six months to prepare for NTNET. So you can see this notification. I will attach the link of this notification in the comment section of this video. And you can download this notice from there also regarding the dates. Okay. So we can take your questions now. If you have any questions regarding any uh, regarding preparation, then we can have a discussion regarding the same. So Kushbu and Neha Nisha is asking that how much marks is required to clear JRF. To clear JRF, you need to score at least 60% marks. आपको कम से कम 60% मार्क्स स्कोर करने हैं जेआरएफ को क्वालीफाई करने के लिए इफ यू आर गोइंग टू इफ यू आर स्कोरिंग लेस देन 60% मार्क्स देन यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू क्वालीफाई द जेआरएफ इफ यू लुक एट प्रीवियस सेशन इन जून 2019 द कट ऑफ फॉर जेआरएफ वाज अराउंड 62% एंड दिसंबर 2019 द कट ऑफ फॉर जेआरएफ वाज 60% जून 2019 में जेआरएफ की कट ऑफ 62% की थी लेकिन दिसंबर 2019 में GRF की कट ऑफ 60% की थी सो एनी हाउ यू हैव टू स्कोर मोर देन 60 और 62% टू क्लियर GRF दैट इज अ मिनिमम कट ऑफ और मिनिमम परसेंटेज दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड ओके इज देयर एनी अदर क्वेश्चन सो इफ यू हैव गाइस हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस रिगार्डिंग द एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन यू कैन आस्क मी एंड इफ यू वांट टू एनरोल फॉर एनी ऑफ द कोर्सेज दैट वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग फॉर एनटी एजी साइड कंप्यूटर साइंस देन यू कैन कॉल ऑन द नंबर्स दैट इज गिवन इन दिस वीडियो एज वेल एज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सेक्शन ओके do you have any questions regarding the NTNET exam preparation? So if you want to take for enroll for our courses, please go to our website, which is digimentor.com. You can just do a simple Google search and you can find the link here. 
so on this website itself you can find uh, the details regarding all the courses that we are having so we have live classes for NTNet as well as we have uh, pre-recorded videos for NTNet computer science so whatever suits you you can enroll for any of those courses according to your requirements okay and if you have any uh, questions regarding the exam preparation please ask me in the chat window so that we can have a discussion regarding the same so I hope that I have already discussed the dates with you the dates is from 15th to 20th of June No, Dinesh, the NTNet examination is not a waste as per the UGC regulations because uh, when you score clear, clear, clear NTNet assistant professor, you score at least uh, 5 marks and if you clear NTNet with JRF, you are going to score 7 marks. So if you clear NTNet JRF, you will score 7 marks and if you clear NTNet assistant professor, you will score 5 marks. Ko score karenge. So your marks are added so that is why it is not a waste it is very very important for you to qualify NTNet to get a position as an assistant professor in a university without qualifying NTNet you will not be able to get a job as an assistant professor in the university there is no minimum marks regarding what is the number of uh, marks you have to score for paper one but I would recommend you at least score 60 to 70 percent marks in paper one so that you can clear JRF. Yes, Dinesh, from July 2020, the PhD is going to be mandatory for assistant professor. If you have not done PhD, then you will not be able to qualify assistant professor from July 2020 onwards. Okay. So I hope that this video was useful for all of you. This was a very quick announcement uh, regarding the dates for NTNet for uh, this upcoming examination so again if you want to enroll for any of our courses please visit our website as well as you can also call on the numbers that is given on the website here so we can uh, accordingly you can get all the details regarding the courses okay thank you so much for watching the video and we will again come back very soon